Hi, this is Matthew Lippard again. It's uh, Saturday morning, July 25th, and I'm working on my wife's 2006 Chrysler 300. We have a water leak, and it looks like it's coming from the water pump. Here is the new water pump. It doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult of a job, but sometimes looks can be deceiving. I have to take the k and filter off. There is a pipe that comes out of the top of the water pump right down there. I've already soaked it uh, pretty good with uh, the uh, uh, Kimball Midwest Torque CB, our penetrating oil, to let that loosen up a little bit. Sometimes those little things like that don't come off very easy. And uh, I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to take some uh, some different videos along the way. But I'm going to start with the k and filter, removing that and then take off that top hose and then the serpentine belt and then I'll start uh, looking for the bolts I need to take this thing apart. Okay, I took the serpentine belt off but I want to show you what I did. Right here at the, uh, where, my, where my ratchet is, is, is there's a little square hole. You put the, the uh, uh, ratchet base in there and then you crank it like that. You see it moving? That loosens that tensioner, then your belt pops right off. And you do the same thing in reverse to put the belt back on. Alright, I'm going to take these two bolts out here for the thermostat housing. And I can do that later, but it's just easier to do it now while the uh, water pump is attached. Those are a 13 millimeter, uh, take a 13 millimeter socket, so I'm going to crank those out. And then I'm going to start looking for the different. Uh, bolts on the uh, water pump also at the bottom you can see right there where that clamp is I've got to take that bottom hose off as well I'm gonna to try to take that off before I loosen up the water pump itself this little hose I was telling you about here a little pipe uh, as you come over here a little bit there's a bolt that keeps it in place it's a 10 millimeter it takes a 10 millimeter socket I'm gonna take that off before I can try to pop that loose, hopefully this thing pops out fairly easy. If you're not real, car real careful, you can break those. So, if you're doing this on your own car, be very, very careful. I pulled that little pipe out, I got a screwdriver in there, and I pried it out very carefully. Fortunately, this thing came out nice and easy. I think there's an O-ring in there. I'm going to check, and if there is, I'm going to replace that O-ring. Yeah, there is an o-ring right there. I'm going to replace that o-ring just to be on the safe side. It's a cheap o-ring and uh, it could save me a whole lot of hassle down the road. So now I'm getting ready to take out these bolts. You see some of them right here. They're a 13 millimeter socket. I've got the new pump setting right here. So it's you can't see a lot of the bolts, but I can just go down around here and I can see about where they are so I can feel my way down along the bottom. A lot of taking this water pump off is going to be by feel. As you can see, it does have a new uh, main pulley on it. Uh, but I'm going to have to swap out a couple other things that I'll show later. What I'm learning as I go on this one, I'm going to have to take this tensioner pulley off. This tensioner off first because I can't get to some of the bolts with a socket. I'll have to use a wrench and I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to take that tensioner off. It takes a 15 millimeter socket. And I'm going to take this idle pulley off as well. I can't really see, but it looks like it takes an Allen, uh, Allen head. So I'm going to have to figure that one out and take that off. I'll let you know later on what that took. Okay, I got to looking at this. It's not an Allen head. There's a uh, plastic piece cover that gone, goes on there. I popped it off with a screwdriver. It takes a T50 star socket. So I'm going to stick that in there, hit it with my air ratchet and spin that thing off and then we'll continue. Okay, the old water pump is out. And there's the new one. They did say it was a big one and it is a big one. So now I'm going to clean all this up a little bit. You got some debris in here. I want to make sure all this is cleaned up nice. Uh, I'll do most of that off camera because it's just extra time I'll come back in and I'll give a quick shot 
before I uh, put the new water pump back in just to show you what I mean but yeah I want to get most of this cleaned up so it doesn't uh, it looks better plus the biggest reason is if you get this cleaned up so you have a nice smooth seal then you're just going to have less chance of leaks if you look closely you can see that there's a rubber gasket in there it's not a paper or cardboard gasket okay so here's that gasket I put a little bit of uh, black RTV in there you don't have to do that the only reason I do that or the biggest reason I do that is I don't want to get this halfway in there and have that gasket pop out in some place or another and next thing you know you have a pinched gasket giving put back together fire the thing up and it leaks because you have a pinched gasket and the gasket came out and then you got a pinch this way the gasket stays fully in place I didn't fill the cracks up I just put enough in there throughout the whole uh, circumference of this pump just to hold the gasket in place I'll take another quick shot when the gaskets in place okay the gaskets in as you can see the rubber gasket is slightly raised it's pushed all the way in so it's slightly raised as you put the water pump on and you compress you put the bolts in and you, and you tighten them and you compress that gasket it creates that seal that you need so that your water pump doesn't leak now let me get up here and I'll show you I've got the I don't know what happened it just quit but anyway uh, I've got this cleaned up scraped off and uh, then I'll put the water pump on just a couple minutes let it uh, let that gasket sealer uh, dry just a little bit then I'll stick that water pump on tighten it back up okay the water pump is sitting back in place I've got one bolt in now I'm gonna begin to tighten up the new, all the bolts put them all in and uh, I did put a new o-ring right there uh, anytime you take something like that out it's best to put an o-ring even if you have to buy a, an assortment of o-rings but it's, it's best to spend the extra money make sure that's a new o-ring because I've not done that before and you have to come back and pull it out and replace it anyway so you might as well do it while you have it out okay the water pump is all back on I had to make another trip to AutoZone because my hose clampers was putting it back on broke if I would have thought of it ahead of time I could have ordered some new hose clamps from Kimball Midwest from myself but I didn't think about it so anyway I have two new hose clamps on there now everything's back together I just have to put the K&N filter back in and fill it with antifreeze and then I'm going to give it a test run. Okay, looks like we're all done. Get everything back together. The K&N filter's back in. I've got antifreeze and water. I put one gallon of antifreeze topped off with water. Everything looks to be good. No leaks. I've been looking underneath of it. Try looking for leaks. Nothing. So there you go. That's changing a water pump on a 2006 Chrysler 300 with a 5.7 Hemi engine. If you have any questions, send me a message. I'll help you any way I can. That's why I do these videos because, you know, a lot of times you want to do this kind of stuff on your own, but you just maybe lack a little bit of knowledge. I've leaned on a lot of other people's videos on YouTube to help me, and I'm just simply trying to pay it forward. And if I can help you, work on your vehicles provide a little bit of knowledge that I have gained over the years I'm happy to do it so if you have any questions please reach out to me uh, like I say I'll help any way I can I hope this helps you uh, please uh, like this video feel free to share it with anybody that you know that has a water pump issue with a Chrysler 300 5.7 Hemi and uh, click the subscribe button please and, uh, and click on that bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks and have a great day.